what is up and welcome to the video thanks to all my returning subscribers and viewers i appreciate you joining me again if you're new here i show applications and adapters that turn your mouse into a controller this allows you to get the aim assist that controller users have is very useful in games that have overtuned aim assist today i'm going to be talking about rewise program and sharing my config for it that allows you to get aim assist on mouse and keyboard Rewise has a number of uses. It works with controllers, mouse, and even cell phones. It's an amazing program that I really enjoy using, and I know you will too. In this video today, I'm going to be showing you where to get the program, how to set it up, share my config and in-game settings with you, and provide a gameplay showing this in use. If you're skeptical of this and think this will get you banned, you stumbled onto the right channel. I've never been permanently banned using anything I show, and if I ever am or one of these is blocked, I will let you know. So make sure you hit the like and subscribe so you don't miss an update. This isn't your typical YouTube channel. Most people are out here trying to make a dollar on you in this niche. You found the right channel because I share every config I create for free. You also find a link in the description below for the Discord along with the config used in the video. It's one of, if not the best config communities available. So come by, ask questions, check my configs out in the community's configs and share your own. All right, enough talking. Let's jump into it and talk about Rewise in the Apex Legends config in settings. All right, first things first, to get the program, you're to come to rewasd.com. There's a free trial for a week if you want to test it before purchasing the program. You'll download and install the program, create an account. After you're done with that, you'll open it, and you should come to a page that looks something like this on the program. You're going to want to click down here on the satellite button. We're going to need to group our mouse and keyboard correctly first. Click OK. Now you're going to click a button on your mouse, and you'll see it blinks down here. You'll click Mouse, Reinitialize as Mouse, click Submit. And then you're going to want to do the same thing with your, mouse, with your keyboard. You're going to click Space. There's a button on your keyboard. It'll blink down here. You'll click your keyboard, click Group. Pull the second drop down, and our mouse was labeled USB receiver. Going to click that, close, and you'll see it'll group them down here. You're going to make sure we're clicked on that, and then you're going to imp you're going to come to the description of the video, find the config, and you'll import the config. I already have it imported right here, and then you'll simply just click apply, and your mouse should get stuck on desktop. Home key. It'll tell you right here which keys. We'll uh, home key your side mouse button. We'll uh, bring bring your mouse back. You'll click OK. And now you, when you press these button, your mouse should get stuck and unstuck as you press the button. That's because the control the mouse is registering as a controller. So when you go in game, you'll hit the toggle key again, and it'll turn your mouse into a controller. All right, so before we jump into the settings and go over the settings, I want to talk about what's in this config. So there is a super glide on this config. You'll just hold space, hold space, and release that at the top for a super glide. It's very easy to use, so hold space, release at the top to super glide. Now, this does affect characters with this combo, like Lifeline. For instance, you'll see when I jump, when I slide and jump, it'll pull out the, the drone. You know, I'm sure there's a way to stop this. Maybe a, there's a setting for hold on the drone or, you know something along those lines but i just i it did, doesn't bother me that much because i can just use my scroll wheel to jump without you know space affecting it and honestly this this can come in useful if you just wanted to you know slide and jump and pull that instantly anyway so i just see it like this i do play lifeline majority of the time in this game but yeah hold hold and until you get to the top and release and you'll get the super glide out of the config looting is on side mouse button so you'll come up let's get some air to the crate you'll hit your side mouse button to bring your mouse back and then you can you know exit how you normally would tap side mouse again or you can hit tab when you exit but it will pop up an arrow sometimes on your screen so you'll have to tab again tab to exit tab is also a toggle key for the bag so automatically hitting tab will let you loot and then tab to exit and you'll see you're back on controller I also put on, if you want to tap strafe, you'll hold down shift, and you'll see shift on hold will bring you back to normal, and you can tap strafe, and when you release, you'll be back on mouse and keyboard. That's all, this will also be useful if you want to hit long shots or something, you want to switch back to mouse and keyboard sensitivity, long shots, that is up to you. 
Let's get some air, but yeah, pretty much everything in the config. I try to keep it as simple as possible with a hold and release on the on the uh, super glide, you know, and then a hold shift for tap strafe. That means you with this config, you need to have auto sprint on. You're not gonna be tapping sprint to run. There's also a sticky aim combo in this. So if you look here, it automatically tracks, activates the aim assist, and tracks for you. Basically, all this is doing is shaking the crosshair like this. You just don't see it because of the settings I have implemented in game. So yeah, with that said, let's go over the settings in game. All right, settings, you're gonna come to controller. You want your button layout on default. This is super important for the con thing. Make sure it's on default. You can copy these. I crouch to hold is important because of the, the super glide and all that. You can copy these if you want to. The most important thing is gonna be and these are the ALCs, dead zone at zero, outer threshold 2%, response curve is at 10. This is what allows you not to see the shake on the screen with the sticky aim combo. So you have to leave this at 10. If you lower this, you'll probably want to take the sticky aim combo out so it's not shaking your screen like crazy. But here's my yaw and pitch speed. Everything else is zero. ADS yaw and pitch speed right here. Everything else is zero. This is what I use. You can adjust these how you want. Turning extra yaw and turning extra pitch will give you extra sensitivity at the end of your flick. So like at the end, you know, if you look here, once you reach this outer threshold, that's when turning extra yaw and pitch will, will be implemented. So outer threshold and turning yaw and extra pitch go together if you wanted to change that. But this is what I use. It works well. It's very, so I try to keep everything as simple as possible you know, and working as normal as possible. It's just what I do and how I play. You know, there are more advanced confidence. Come by Discord. Some people show some more advanced stuff. So if you want to see some other stuff, come by Discord. There's people that shared examples. Uh, there's also examples on the Rewatch community page that people share. They People share configs everywhere. So just have to know what you're looking for. So yeah, that's basically it here. And... I'm going to hop in game, get some gameplay. You want to see the gameplay? Stick around. Appreciate everybody joining me and enjoy the gameplay.
Yeah. 